Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Mazurvi. Joining us today, we have Nick Wong. He is the executive director at the Maritime Association. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, Ashley. Okay, so Nick, tell me about the Maritime Association and what you do. The Maritime Association is a nonprofit organization uh, whose members consist of a wide variety of uh, maritime companies, uh, companies that uh, touch product, move things on the water, uh, move things from the docks to warehouses, to trucks, to rail. I mean, y'all really have a wide range of people who are involved in your organization, don't you? Yeah, pr pretty much. So anything that uh, moves things from the ship to your store mm -hmm. or to your home, uh, we touch and uh, our companies are involved in that. I, I love it because I, what I've always learned about the Maritime Association, you're really like a family, you know, you're supporting each other through good times and bad and things like that, always kind of bouncing ideas and things like that off of each other, right? We're a good sized organization, we probably have about 200 members, but uh, what's really special is that we're still really tight and it's a close-knit community. I love that. All right, so we're talking today about, what is it, navigation? operations uh, or navops meetings navops all right so what is that so our navops meeting is our once a month uh, recurring meeting that we have with our members where we're able to get together and network and talk about some of the issues that impact their businesses and it's, it's great because we bring together businesses as well as government uh, organizations to, together to uh, kind of get the inside scoop on what's coming down the road and uh, really solve some minor issues because before they become big problems okay so y'all could be talking about anything from what like uh, we can talk about harbor deepening, to uh, scheduling of labor, uh, to uh, like some COVID, of the... how COVID can impact that. And yep, stuff like exactly, that. exactly. Uh, with COVID, I mean, it impacts our, our labor, it impacts our ability to network. COVID, it impacts uh, our all business. of us, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you could like you know summarize though why people um, at home, especially you know if they're in this industry or they might be in another industry, but they could still have a home at Maritime Association, why should they join? Uh, well, they should join because, uh, one, we, we are advocates for uh, the maritime industry. If, you, if you're involved directly or indirectly with the maritime transportation system, uh, you should join because we're an advocate for you. We also are subject matter experts. Our members are subject matter experts. So if there's any questions that you have about what's going on with, with rail, shipping, trucking, warehousing, logistics, we have the subject matter experts there. And plus, uh, we're a great networking uh, opportunity for your all company. Y'all are very good at networking and all of that. All right, anything else we need to know before we head out today? Uh, I think that we're, we're a great organization. I mean, our, we, we have great economic impact within the state and the region and the nation. So because this industry right here, I mean, is big business, correct? It is, it is. I mean, we bring, uh, maritime shipping brings $63.4 billion to the state every year. Wow. And we got a busy port going on here. You probably hear that in the background. All right, well, it was a pleasure getting to know you today, and thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks, Ashley. And for more information, of course, you can always head online to maritimesc.org.